I am here with couple goals, like real couple goals, not fake ones. It's good to see you both. Congratulations, first of all. And I asked this question to several of those on the cast and for you both. What does this film mean? Because I feel like it meets anybody and everybody where they are, whether they're churched or unchurched, whether they're in the faith or they're struggling with their faith. What did you really want to come across with that being said with this film? Yeah, um, I didn't hear what you said at the end, but you're meeting you where you are, right? That's yes. what, I mean, I think that's so important. I didn't want to make a movie that was just for church folks, right? And I know folks that listen to praise. I'm not trying to make, get, get in trouble with nobody, but we got to reach out to people that don't go to church, that don't know the gospel and don't know the word. That's the impact. That's what I wanted to do with this film. I wanted to reach out to people and show and have a movie that was entertaining for folks that maybe haven't been to church in a long time, maybe have lost their way, because that's where the kids are today, you know? So we have a bunch of amazing 20-somethings in this movie who are funny, who can sing, who are super talented, that I wanted to showcase and put on a pedestal, show them failing and making mistakes, but ultimately finding their way. To me, that's what the church should be about, is outreach. Speaking of failing and making mistakes, we see Chloe Bailey's character, young black woman trying to find her way, trying to find her faith. What do you hope resonates with young black women who watch this film? Oh my gosh, um, that God is always with you. And that no matter what's going on in your life, whether it's relationships or school or whatever it is that you may be struggling with, to lean on God and to have that faith and that all things that can happen through God, you know? So just, just lean on that and stay prayed up. And he's got you. Everything is always in divine order if we just listen, because he's always there telling us what we need to do. Absolutely. There's been a lot of talk about the younger generation. You just mentioned it. I want to talk music for just a moment. I spoke with Charles Jenkins earlier. How important was it for you guys to not only infuse these voices, but also the sounds of today with some of the songs that we've been hearing over the last several years? No question. That's how you're going to get to the youth. You know, that's how you're going to connect with them. They may not know some of the gospel standards, uh, but they know Drake. They know Beyonce. They know Cardi. Well, let's put some Cardi in there, right? Let's give them that medicine, put a little sugar in it so that they drink the medicine. We want them to see a movie like this and realize that there is a conversation about God and faith and spirituality to be had. But we got to get to it. I didn't want to make a movie that was just set in the church because I knew there were a lot of people that wouldn't go see that movie. I did the same thing with Stomp the Yard. I wanted to make a movie about black colleges and black fraternities and sororities. Now, if I had just done that, there would have been a lot of people that said, well, that's not my world. I'm not that interested. But I wrapped it around an amazing dance movie. And a lot of people say, I love dance movies. I want to come see the dance. I want to come see Chris Brown. And they came. And then they learned something about HBCUs. I want the same thing to happen here. Come in, get you in, get the message, and have a good time while you do it. Last question for you. Marriage is teamwork. That's what the people tell me. As a single, that's what they say. So with that being said, the biggest piece of creative advice your wife has given you and what that's meant for you. Oh, my gosh. She's giving me advice all the time. Um, you know what? Follow my passion. Follow my instincts. That's what she tells me. She is somebody that's a big believer in me and my ideas. And even when they're not great, she's like, well, baby, never say if, never say maybe, always claim it. And what's for you will be for you. Well, praise this is for you and for everybody. Thank you guys so, so very much. Congratulations.